Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 7 of DFF, Dead Friend Forever. I already did my reviews on episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Links are in the description below, so without further ado, let's get into it. The episode starts off in the past where we see Fee on an app which is similar to another app I know. Anyways, Fee is communicating to Non on that app. And on that app, Non suggests that they meet up. Their first meetup was cute. I guess at this point in life, Non was genuinely happy, somewhat happy. There were times Non brought Fee over to his place. Of course, when the parents were not there. They started going out more often and at this point, Fee and Nan were friends with Benefit and I emphasize on the word were because it was here that Fee asked Nan to be his boyfriend and to stop being friends with Benefit and Nan agrees. This is where I get to understand where Nan got that red bracelet. Which got us to the present, to Fee going to his father to ask for a favor because he told his father he had done something horrible to need his help. So Fee's father worked in the police force and got in the case of the scamming that poor Nan got involved in. So Fee asked his father to clear Nan's name of all charges against Nan and it worked. When Nan saw the video of the news, Nan asked Fee how he got his father to help him and Fee said he lied to his father that he was also involved. The next day, Nan went to school and T attacked Nan and questioned him on loyalty and asked if he is a spy to which Nan said no. Nan told T that the reason he got away was because he asked for help from someone. Then T told Nan that he doesn't want anything reach him in the end. Even in class, it's bad. I don't understand why Nan would even want to go to school after what happened. People who hate Nan for no reason now has a reason to hate Nan more. Poor is then telling everyone he wants to cut Nan out of their filming project because he refused to let people see Nan's face in the video. But Jin said they should because Nan was the one who wrote the script to the film and edited it. Later after school, Jin tries to talk to Nan on not to feel bad on what Poor said. Fees with Nan, talking and trying to convince Nan to move from school because the people he calls friends are not Nan friends. Now, Nan knows what Fee is saying is right, but he convinced Fee that he just wants to finish his filming project and that is it for them. Oh, by the way, if you don't notice by now, the color on the name of their uniform, you can tell they're from different schools. Because of that, Fee is very suspicious, but he's playing it off and asks Nan to promise he never lies and keeps secrets from each other. Anyways, they're supposed to meet up at the filming place, which is Poor's family vacation home. But they didn't go for poor Nan because Nan slept in and went there late by himself. When Nan got inside, he already looked tired, but because Poor refused to work with Nan, he made Nan go out again to get them food and then claims they will wait until Nan comes back so they can start filming. Listen, the t-shirt itself explains Nan's situation right now. Anyways, when Nan came back, he not only saw the others, but found out they did the film without him. Honestly, what more explanation do Nan need to see these people are not his friends? Nan then got hangry because no one took him seriously. Top is the only person that makes my blood boils. Like, he was the one who broke Poor's expensive camera, and that resulted into Nan doing illegal things. After everyone left, Jin went to talk to Nan and noticed that when he was buying the food for everyone, Nan got hurt by he fall off the bike. The next day we see Nan arrived at the place earlier than everyone else. But again, they show they don't need Nan. They told Nan to be the mass killer because Nan face is hidden and he gets to be in the film. Now, originally that position was written in the script for T, 
but Poor said as a director he wants Nunn to play that part. Now at this point Nunn have had enough, demanding his script back that he wrote but Poor will not let him have it and told Nunn to leave. Jin again tries to talk to Nunn and convince Nunn to come back and that being the muscular is good for him and that he can put his anger in acting out the killer character. When filming, Nunn was doing too good that he started choking Top too real which got Top to yell cut. At lesson class, Nunn was the only one who did well. But he forgot to put his name on the worksheet and so the teacher asked Nunn to see him after class. When Nunn went into office with the teacher, the teacher started kissing Nunn and at first Nunn felt strange but Nunn kissed the teacher back. As you can see, Nunn came out with his clothes all messed up so you know Nunn and the teacher did things. Then, while outside, Fee called Nun and Nun told him he is still at the school and even though Fee did offer to come pick him up, Nun made an excuse as to why Fee should not. Fee was a little suspicious but then the suspicion rise when he heard the teacher's voice in the background before Nun hung up. So Fee made it his mission to personally go to the school unannounced without Nun knowing. He moved fast. When Fee saw Nun with the teacher and Nun saw Fee, Nun left the teacher to go to Fee. And that's when Fee got angry and asked the relationship of Nun and the teacher. But Nun said it's just a teacher student and nothing more. Fee even addresses with how Nun looks because he never walks around dressed so messy. Fee was crying because he was hurt that Nan could be cheating on him but Nan told him he loves Fee and he will never cheat on Fee. We all know that Nan told a huge lie in this relationship and that's why Nan is crying too because Nan did cheat on Fee with the teacher. And when Nan and Fee was going home together, we then see Jin who saw them. The next day we see that Nan went to T to return most of the money so he can get out of the danger and Nan also told T to leave as well. But of course T never trusts Nan and texted Top for a favor. We then see Nan going to the teacher to thank him. Because you see the teacher knew of Nan money problems because Nan told him and so the teacher gave Nan 300,000 baht to pay back and now Nan has to try to find the next amount of money. We also then see Top who was watching Nan and the teacher and texted T that he knows where Nan got his money to pay T. And if that's not the worst thing, the kid still made Nan life bad. So many signs for Nan to move but he still stayed. But for some odd reason, T is being friendly with Nan. While we see the teacher texting a journalist while looking on T's social media. Nan came to the teacher and saw that the teacher was looking at T's social media and the teacher told an excuse to why he was looking. Then he went to change his mind by romantically kissing Nan. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, first of all, damn, the teacher was all sexy under that clothes. But on a real note, overall, the teacher student thing is all wrong on so many levels. Anyways, while Nan and the teacher was getting their deed on, we see Jane and Glasses hearing moaning sounds and decided to check. And what they saw shocked them. It shocked them so much that Glasses left the scene but Jin stayed and videoed Nan and the teacher. And not only did Jin video it, Jin got drunk and posted on social media. The next day, Jin saw the people with the video but at this point, the video went viral. It got so viral, Fee saw it and he is pissed and I don't blame him. Of course he went to find Nan and when he saw Nan, he saw Nan and the teacher hugging and he got mad. Honestly, words could not explain how hurt Fee is because Nan lied and cheated on him. Like, why are we drunk, bro? 
Nan started crying and apologizing to Fee and say he loves Fee, but Fee is too upset and told Nan to leave and just go die. The episode ends with Nan starting to lose it mentally and the teacher is trying to calm Nan. Honestly, the teacher should be worried about himself because this situation is worse than losing his job. He slept with a young student. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 7 of DFF, Dead Friend Forever. Stay tuned for my review on episode 8. And as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time.